Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hi guys, I hope you're all well and welcome to this commission showcase video. We've got an incredible custodian force for you to check out today in a really unique custom color scheme. So let's jump in, have a look. And where better to start than with the man, the myth, the legend, Trajan Valoris himself. This whole force has been painted by Sean Wine, the artist here at Siege. A uh, really, really nice color scheme and a very different look for custodians. Uh, so right from the get go, you can see that Trajan himself is uh, painted in a almost kind of like steely kind of uh, Baroque armor so a dull desaturated grey sort of steel armour um, obviously with the uh, sort of cloth work done in a matching kind of uh, bluish greyish kind of hue uh, obviously got the lion here as you can see just on his shoulder guard uh, all fully painted and highlighted through various stages as you can see all the flesh eyes and everything all done all the little totems and things on the arm and some lightning on the axe as well which is just really really cool nice sort of bluish tinge to the blades as well into the fore grips and, and aft grip on the uh, axe the massive axe that he's got really sort of archaic kind of baroque gold work that's been done on just the uh, the gold on the uh, suit of armor and also on the axe uh, and again really really nice sort of um I almost say like a sort of uh, ivory kind of colorway on the, uh, the lion mane, uh, lion head sort of that he's got in his shoulder guard and those white plumes on those feathers all picked out. Uh, but just really nicely executed. Uh, a lot of the gems and things across the force are all done in a blue as well to complement and just to really stand out on the uh, the grayish and, and sort of uh, sort of cloth work on desaturated blues and things. Uh, overall, really desaturated palette on this force uh, just to give them a real sort of Baroque and ancient kind of feel. Uh, and that's Trajan to lead this force of um, of custodians. So after Trajan to lead the force, we now have all of the infantry and there's a nice selection of models in this army. Uh, we've got three Alaris Terminators, uh, we've got uh, 10 Custodians and then ten, uh, five Custodian Wardens. So a really nice selection of miniatures. Again, Sean's had a great time working on this very, very ancient looking Baroque kind of color palette on these Custodians. A really nice selection of miniatures. Uh, so we'll just pull forward a few of them so you can have a look. Uh, this is just one of the regular Custodians. As you can see, you've got this uh, grayish, silverish armor with blue accents and uh, this nice desaturated kind of blue as the spot color which is really cool uh, all the rope work and leather obviously very drab and desaturated also to match the ancient baroque feel across the force this arctic tundra basing that's across the army as well uh, which i do really really like so this is just one of these awesome custodians we'll pull forward one that's probably going to be used as a shield captain or as just a squad leader uh, again really really nice extra little details like the misocordium obviously got this grayish blue kind of uh, cloak that he's got as well but every little detail fully painted all the little gems are done in a blue the uh, the plumes done in a blue which is really really nice so that's just one of the uh, squad leaders or you can use it as a shield captain just pull forward another custodian from this squad on the left so you can see you've got these lovely blue power blades on these guys on the uh, sort of uh, guardian spears which are just really really cool and again I do love that desaturated bluish gray as a spot color on these just really really works with the silvery blue armor and you can see that blue tinge on the armor just as I move that one around as well um We'll have a look at this uh, chap here with a shield. You can see that lovely gold that Sean's achieved on here. Very ancient looking Baroque kind of uh, uh, sort of gold with uh, some brighter colors and darker portions just to show the nice tonal variation on that gold, which is great. Uh, obviously armed with a sword. Uh, then we'll move forward and jump have a look at these uh, awesome Alaris Terminators. These really, really heavy set lads in their massive armor plate, which is just awesome. As you can see, all the little details fully painted, all the power blades done with the blue. Again, you've got that desaturated glue, uh, gray blue, or glue, as I said, gray blue as a as a spot color on the shoulder inside shoulder trims which is really nice and you've got that lovely sort of gold baroque uh, desaturated gold across the rest of the four of the uh, of the armor which is just really really nice again you've got another misocordium there just on his back um, which is cool uh, so let's have a look at the other two Alaris Terminators uh, just a really really nice model as you can see this advancing pose that he's got but you can see that uh, sort of uh, grayish silverish armor which is just nice and then the other one here uh, again blue lenses across all of the infantry and all of the rest of the force that you can see blue is the one of the spot colors we'll just pull forward just for consistency purposes some of the other custodians from the other side so you can have a look here again I love the gold on these really desaturated nice tonal variation on them to show that ancient 
ancient kind of baroque feel that we wanted to obviously convey on the force for the client as per their reference images and artwork um, so I'll just pull forward one more so you can see from this custodians on the other side obviously armed with a sword there with that p blue sort of uh, bl blended blade just very subtle blending on there just to ensue a bit of a power field and you can see that lovely um, baroque shield that he's got there which is awesome and then my favorite uh, custodian models which are the wardens I just really really always have liked them uh, kind of for me looking back at some of the old artwork with those tabards it really just gives them that uh, that look from the books that you've seen in the past as you can see here the lovely spot colors just of that gray blue just on the inner or inner pauldron and also on the tabard as well and then the, the brightest of the uh, sort of colors on this palette obviously the blue of the gems and also the power glaives uh, or guardian spheres should i say we'll just have a look at the vexilor as well so again a really really nice model uh, again you can see that lovely tonal variation on the gold just to add interest to it all the text and everything done there on the scrolls just hanging down from that bar and again, just uh, really, really nicely executed by Sean across this force. Super clean and uh, just nice to highlight stages on various areas of the armor and also the gold and leather and things. Uh, and then probably the most stoic of the force is the uh, warden, uh, this guy. Just obviously what you can use as a shield captain, I'd imagine, with the extra sort of details in the cloak that he's got which is really really nice so that's just this awesome warden to lead this uh, squad of custodian wardens uh, and i'll pull forward one more so you can have a look at him from the wardens uh, again just really nicely executed all the gems and everything fully painted and we've got this really cool arctic tundra basing across the force which just uh, really adds a lot to the feel and cold vibe that these guys give out so i do hope you like them uh, next up we've got all the versus praetors so there's loads of bikes coming uh, so stick around they're up next And next we've got all the Virtus Praetors from this force and there's six of them. One of them denoted as a shield captain with a slightly more detailed base with some other bits and bobs on it. So we'll show you that in a second. Um, but let's have a look at the Virtus Praetors. Some really awesome models right from the get go. Uh, Shaw's done a great job of really edging these and picking out every single detail on the bikes extremely well. Uh, just again, I really love this sort of more desaturated palette across this force. Makes them look more ancient and ornate, which I really do like. Uh, especially this gold work looks very pitted and looks like it has a lot of interest to it, which is great. All the missiles on the front are all picked out in red which is really cool with yellow warhead tips which is just really really nice uh, it just gives a lot of interest to the fronts of these bikes uh, and you can really see that lovely amount of the, the gold itself has got a very lovely sort of tonal variation on it lots of brighter sort of points and very sort of darker points just to add that sort of ancient baroque kind of feel to it obviously you've got the blue power lances on these guys um all the bikes have got the screens fully painted with like blips and sort of uh, scan sort of vectors and things like that, which is really, really cool. Again, all the gems across the, the armor of the actual rider himself uh, are done in a blue. Uh, you've got these lovely purple sort of, uh, sorry, blue purple main, uh, blue mains on them, which is just really, really nice. Uh, so that's just an awesome, awesome little detail on those. Uh, again, there's, there are six of them. I'll pull forward all of them so you can have a look at them in their glory. But again, a really lovely execution across all of these bikes. Uh, just really well done. Again, that's just another one. Uh, so on the one that's probably denoted as the shield captain, we've got uh, this really cool sort of Arctic Tundra base that you've seen across the whole entire force anyway. Uh, but this base has got a uh, frozen sort of fallen enemy. You've got some uh, Necron parts and heads and things and a stave just sticking out the ice there, which is really cool. Uh, again, the shield captain's got some extra little details like this tassel just blowing a lot of uh, sort of trading off behind him and you can see that on the uh, lance and also on the uh, the back of the bike as well just showing that he's uh, zipping along and uh, the wind is just affecting those little details on the bike uh, which is really really cool uh, you can see all the eyes and everything all fully painted on him looks very intent there on uh, dispatching the foes of the emperor uh, just move through and have a look at some of the other ones just so you can see the consistency from model to model um, you've got blue lenses just on the heads of these uh, these uh, sort of uh, custodians as well which is really nice again so this really nice desaturated palette uh, sort of uh, sort of a dirtyish kind of silver which is really really cool just shows that sort of ancient kind of vibe going on with these guys and it's a really nice scheme that our client has chosen um Again, got all the brass work all done across all the little areas of the detail. So you've got obviously the Mechanicus thing there that's just obviously just a brass plate, which is quite cool. Uh, so that's just this one. Uh, and again, just showing you so you can see the consistency from all the bikes through the force. Again, you've got these lovely sort of bluish gray sashes that just match the armor on there. So just nice accent color and the blue plumes that you've got obviously on their heads as well. But just a really, really nice clean execution across all of the miniatures in the force. And there, that's the Virtus Praetors and the... Uh, shield captain for you guys to check out
So another great model for this Custodian Force. We've got a Forge World uh, Custodian Dreadnought here, as you can see. Um, again, really, really nice palette on the Force. Obviously, desaturated sort of blues and also greens used on sort of the accents. Uh, obviously, the most vibrant colors being the energy on the weapons and lenses and things like that. Again, they've got this really nice sort of desaturated blue just on some of the armored areas uh, to complement kind of like the really sort of, sort of more darkish kind of steel. Uh, and even the steel has got a blue tinge to it there, as you can see. Uh, all the weapons on these guys are fully magnetized, so they are interchangeable so that our client can just change but you can see all the lenses and everything all fully painted on this guy uh, you've got Odin just written there on that sh on that sort of scroll there on the shoulder guard uh, just really really nicely executed uh, really nice sharp sort of highlighting done across all the areas of armor and everything uh, but an awesome awesome dreadnought to uh, to add to this force so I do hope that you like them ever so much they're now off to fill the foul traitor heretic and xenos of the imperium uh, so I do hope you like them ever so much. See you guys very soon on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.